many of us are very excited, anybody who knows about jewellery, about the largest rough diamond for 100 years, the Lacedo de Rona. I believe that the rough diamond weighed, is this possible, what I've written down, 1,109 carats? Correct. And it was discovered in Africa at a mine in Botswana. Can you tell us if there's any news about it? Is it when's we going to hear any more? Well, there is news. Um, may I go back to Hatton Garden, where we met originally? I first walked the streets of Hatton Garden when I was 14 and a half years old. My mother took me for my very first interview. We arrived at the offices of this elderly diamond and jewellery merchant, and my mother looked at him and he looked at her, and my mother said, I would like to ask you a question. How far can my son go in the diamond business? And he looked at her suspiciously, why to ask a question like that? And he said, the sky is the limit. I'm pleased to say, out of the 1,109 carats, there were 66 satellite stones, all of the wow. highest color and perfect, and the one master stone. Out of the 66 stones, we decided to mount them as they came out. They went anywhere from a half a carat to 25 carats. It was amazing to see these stones being polished, each one so beautiful, perfect, astonishing color, and life that I've not seen in other diamonds. They were amazing. So I knew that that last stone was going to be special. We've kept it top secret. It's just been finished. It's befitting to announce it whilst we're in Africa. And I want to go all the way back to my first interview when my first boss said, the sky is the limit. I've now produced the diamond, which is the limit. It's taken over a year to cut. I'm honored to have had the privilege of producing this diamond. It weighs 302 carat, 37 carats. What? 302 carat, 37 carat. It's the largest, highest color diamond, highest purity, excellent cut, and excellent symmetry produced. It's an absolute priceless masterpiece. I'm speechless. Thank you. All the discussions that we've had today have come out with the idea that we must, in the luxury industry, care about more than just sales and profits. There is another side to you, apart from the man who just chases a few diamonds. There is. We believe in giving back. And it started off um, when I bought into a company that owns a mine in Lesotho. And then I went around the countryside and I saw what was going on there. And I realized there's a lot of very young children around and not very many young parents. And I asked questions and I soon found out that Lesotho is a country of grandparents and grandchildren. Parents mostly died from AIDS. And it's a scary thing to be in a country where you're doing that reaping the rewards of doing it, it is profitable, and seeing that people are dying all around you. So I asked what I could do, and we met people in the government, and we met various other people, and we eventually put together an organization called FACET, which stands for Four African Children Every Time. Mm. And I built the first learning center in Lesotho, and we took in um, about 100 orphans, we try to teach them a trade, whether it's tapestry or dressmaking or whatever have you, flower making, all sorts of things. And when they're able to leave with a knowledge and a program, we use them as teachers to teach the next generation. I think we've, we've, we've had over a thousand children since those early days. That's wonderful. And we will continue to give back as long as we can. Thank you. I have one last question. Is it in your pocket? <laughs> Actually, it is. Can I show it to you? <laughs>